at that given point. So we know that the derivative or the first derivative is going to give us the equation of the slope, right? Or the equation that represents the slope of this graph. Again, we have no idea what this graph looks like, right? But if you guys look at this, we can identify, we can find the derivative here. We do have some terms, so we are going to have to apply um, the product rule um, for each one of these, or at least not for that one, but for the first two, we are going to have to apply the product rule. So I'm just going to use parentheses just to group them. They're not really necessary, but it's better to use parentheses um, than that, and to have things organized than to not use them. So if I was going to uh, take the derivative of my first two term, uh, my first two terms would be 2x times e to the x plus x squared e to the x. Because remember e to the x, um, remember that, uh, remember the derivative of e to the x is e to the x, right? And so therefore, and then minus, let's do the derivative of my second term now, which uh, is going to be 2 times e to the x plus 2x times e to the x plus. So all I did was take the derivative of each one and I kind of put them in parentheses. So basically notice what I did is like I took the derivative of each one of those parentheses. Now this one is not so bad because the derivative of 2 times e to the x is basically just going to be 2 e to the x. So now let's simplify this kind of without our parentheses. Because we didn't really didn't need to. The only important thing about the parentheses is just knowing I have to distribute that. Well, this is kind of important because look what happens. So therefore, I'm just left with y prime equals x squared e to the x. Now again, that's the equation of the slope, right? We want to find the slope of a tangent line, an instantaneous slope at a given point, 1 comma 0. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to evaluate at 1. So when I evaluate at 1, I get 1 squared times e to the 1. Well, e raised to the first power is just going to be e times 1. So therefore, that's equal to e. So now, this is my slope, right? That's the slope at that point. And then I have my x and my y coordinates. This is my m. So therefore, I'm all good to go. y minus um, e equals m, which is e, times x minus 1. Done.